Next Thursday will mark six months since the shootings that not only rocked the city of Lewiston, but sent ripples through our entire state. And we wanted to take a moment to acknowledge not only the healing that has already happened, but the healing that's still needed. Dr. Mark Kaplan with Sweetser, an organization focused on mental health services, says that uneasy feeling you have going into crowds or that urge to look for the exits in any congested space is part of a collective trauma. So how do you move forward? Let's talk about it. We're just scratching the surface. For six months, Dr. Mark Kaplan has been watching and supporting the healing in Lewiston ever since a gunman opened fire at a bowling alley and a bar there. 18 were killed, 13 others were injured physically, while so many others have scars you can't see. It can be a blur for a while, and it should be. For some people, it's a protective factor for a period of time in an acute trauma that it all gets kind of swishy and squirrely and you don't quite remember everything. And that's the nature of post-traumatic stress disorder. All of a sudden you're walking down the street and you hear something, smell something, whatever it may be, and it crystallizes and you're like, whoa. Has this extended far beyond just Lewis and Auburn? Absolutely, yeah. No, we're seeing it in all of the communities that we're in. Wendy Anders works with Sweetser counselors in public schools and primary care practices. She said there's a level of anxiety that's increased in both adults and children. Especially at the schools with the little kids talking about, you know, just the details of a, a lockdown drill and um, questioning the those details and is it going to keep me safe, you know, um, those are some of the conversations that we're experiencing. She says the response to that is to talk with kids about what they're feeling. Maybe practice some of those lockdown drills with them to help them feel safer. And as adults, it's okay to plan your shopping around times that are less busy or stand in the back of that concert. But the important thing is to actually go. You're going to see these four images. Meanwhile, at this Brunswick campus of Sweetser, counselors are teaching a free course that anyone can join to learn how to recognize mental health struggles and how to help. It's a class that more people and businesses have been signing up for, says Sweetser training specialist Steve Nesky. Because oftentimes people will be like, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do. And so this model gives them steps of assessing, listening, giving reassurance, and then encouraging both professional and self-help support. Now the encouraging thing is community connection is what people want. Uh, there was a concert that they did over at the Franco Center, you know, which raised a lot of money, raised a lot of awareness. There have been the church services. There have been other things that bring people together. And if you think about it, you're bringing people together in a situation where there's a crowd. And to be able to go do that and have the courage to do that, and then to walk away safe, that's a huge win. That's a huge healing. Dr. Kaplan admits there is no real training for any of us to prepare for mass trauma like what happened in Lewiston, but he says listening, talking, and continuing to grow and support your loved ones and your community will all help. If that isn't the definition of a health of a community, families out playing games, playing sports with their children, or adults gathering and playing cornhole, you know, that's, that's healthy, that's good stuff. So um, that was not taken away from them forever. If you'd like to learn more about the free classes offered by Sweetser, we have provided a link on our website and New Center Main app. There, you'll also find contact information for the organization if you are feeling like you are struggling with your own mental health. They'll either help you or they'll connect you with the right services. And as that healing continues, especially in Lewiston, we know now that the bowling alley will soon reopen. The owners of Just In Time Recreation talked with our Samantha York recently about the difficult balance of adding security to make their visitors feel safe, but also feeling welcomed. You will also find that interview on our website.